Hi everyone, uh, in this video you will learn about strings, how we deal with strings in Scratch. Uh, basically, uh, in the previous videos you, you learned about variables. So in Scratch, variables can hold two types of data, numbers and words or strings. So strings basically uh, is, is the text. So how to do this? Uh, let's make a little program here. Uh, we create a couple of variables here. I, I'm in the variables palette and I click make a variable. And the first variable is surname. That's okay. And the second variable we'll make is full name. So now we have uh, two variables which will be holding uh, strings, the words. So how we start this, first of all, we bring this one, the set block here. Okay, the set block here. Right. And we say set surname to, for example, Smith. Okay. So if I double click here to run this, so now uh, this variable surname has a text, a word called Smith saved inside this variable. Now the next, if I drag this one again, the set block, and set full name, full name to what? Okay, here comes the operator. We need an operator to join two parts of the name. So we'll bring this join this operator here and snap it here. Right. So join what? Now here, for example, I write uh, the first name, for example, is John. So John and what? Obviously not John Banana, yeah? Okay. So here we need uh, this, this, uh, this name, Smith, here. For that, we need to bring this variable the, the surname here. So we'll go to variables again and the surname we click and drag and snap it here. Right. So now what we did basically this variable full name which has a default zero value at the moment when we when we double click this what it gonna do is it will join the word John which is the name with its surname and the surname is another variable which has this uh, this text this string inside so double click this one and see here we have john smith but you can observe one thing there is no space in between so one way is we click here yeah at the end and with the keyboard we press space bar once to make one space like that now if double click this one, I double click this one to run, there you go. Now there's a space between uh, these two words. So in this program, in this, these two simple blocks, you learned how to work with variables having strings, having text inside. So we made two variables and we saved strings and we learned how to join the strings as well. So do the practice for that as well. Thanks for watching.